What's going on YouTube? Today I got this 2003 Ford Expedition. Customers complaining of a roaring noise coming from the rear. And it's a very common problem on these expeditions. It's going to be a rear wheel bearing. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's get started. First thing you're going to do is you're going to grab an 18 millimeter wrench, ratchet, whatever you have at home. Put it on these caliper bolts. We're going to break them loose by hand because these bolts are pretty tight. You might want a long ratchet for this or a breaker bar. And that bolt was kind of loose. It's not good. That would eventually would have backed out. Now I'm going to grab my 18 millimeter swivel socket. Top and bottom bolts. If I can get on it. All right. Pull those out. Wiggle your caliper off and just kind of lean it out of the way. Now we're going to pop our rotor off. And start your lug nut a couple turns, that way the rotor doesn't fly off and fall on your foot. And when you hit the rotor, hit it on the very corner where the pads don't ride. You ain't gonna hurt it. All right, now we're going to take the ABS wire and get it out of our way. Pull back in your clip right there. Pop that out. This one's already on clip for me. Yeah, it's almost like someone's been messing with this because it's not even installed in that clip right there. Alright, go up here to your plug, push down the tab, pull out. Pull your wire through. Now on the back side of this bearing, you're going to have four 18 millimeter bolts. Let's go ahead and take our axle nut off. It's a 35 millimeter. Grab our 18 again, because these bolts are generally pretty tight too. Get those loose. that now that I got those loose now this bottom left corner bolt you're gonna have to have a swivel socket to get on there because it's so close close to the control arm and even then you might have to take it out the rest of the way with your fingers because you'll start hitting that control arm with your socket You can just leave the bolts in there. You ain't got to take them out. All right. Go ahead and reverse that. Give it a couple good hits. Just like 
that. Pull your ABS wire through. Grab your new part. Just cut this little zip tie off. Get your wire through first. Wiggle it back and forth till it pushes over the axle. Pull your wire through, being careful not to damage it. All right. I'll push in, and while pushing in, you should be able to start your bolts. Just a couple turns. Okay. Get in there. All right. Okay. I think we're started. Grab your 18. Grab your axle nuts. Now I want to show you, if you're going to hit on this axle, because it's recessed right here, you should be okay. But if the threads come all the way out, don't hit it because you'll damage the threads. Put your nut on a couple turns. And then you can hit the face of your nut. Or you can put a center punch in that little divot right there and hammer it out because that one doesn't have threads at the very beginning you can get away with hitting it a few times without hurting it snug that down real good with the 35 millimeter I'll take your 18 to do your final tightening nice and snug like that. Pop your wire through. Clip your clip back in. These wouldn't, a couple of these wouldn't clip in, remember? All right. Feed it up through the frame. Go underneath the e brake cable. Sit in that little white tab right there. Plug her back. In. Plug her back in. Okay, you feel it click. And I just tore my glove. 
Have your rotor. I think the e-brake shoes slipped on me. Let's see. There it goes. Sometimes those e-brake shoes will get a little bit unseated. See that themselves back now. Pop your caliper on. Grab your two 18 caliper bolts. Alright. Top, the bottom. Grab your 18 wrench. Just give them a nice little final little tighten. Nice and snug. Alright, and that's how you do it. Now put your wheels back on, take it for a test drive, make sure there's no ABS light on, and make sure the noise is gone. Anyways, y'all please subscribe, check like. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.